What's cooking with your YouTube family? Welcome back to Triple B's, where we not only cook barbecue, but we come in the kitchen and we whip it up. Whip it real hard. Whip it, whip it real hard. So look, it's time for another video, and today we're gonna do a very special burger. Forget the burgers that you're used to making, that you've made in the past, because today we're gonna do an Asian-inspired burger. Now I've made this several times, but my kids are always asking me to cook it. And I don't cook it all the time because I don't want it to get wore out. I want it to stay uh, that top tier of uh, what they expect when I cook a burger. So look, y'all just hang in there. Y'all come with me on this little journey. I'm gonna show y'all a little secret. I've got a secret. And hey, look, there's even a little special thing that I'm gonna do sometime in this video, but you'll get to see, and it's gonna basically make this burger Asian inspired. It's not just what we put in the meat, but it's actually what we're going to put on the meat while it's cooking. So y'all stay tuned, let's get cracking. All right, so because this isn't your traditional burger, you're not gonna have lettuce, you're not gonna have tomato, you're not gonna have pickles and, and all that stuff. So instead, we're gonna have an, an Asian inspired slaw. So look at here what we got. Already made, already ready at the grocery store is some broccoli slaw. We're gonna make this first because I want all this to kind of get to know each other in the refrigerator. And that right there is gonna be plenty for four burgers. Japanese mayo, you can use regular mayo. I just like Japanese. I'm gonna put a quarter of a cup. We're also going to use some sesame seed oil. It doesn't matter what brand, just know it doesn't take a lot. I put about six drips. I can already smell it. And then we're also going to use some rice wine vinegar. This is gonna give it that little bit of twang to it. And I'd say two tablespoons of that probably should have made a little bit more because I'm going to be tasting this as I go, but let's see. A little more rice wine vinegar. Don't need much of that. And I'm going to put a little bit more mayo in there. And a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper. That's it right there. So now I'm going to cover this, put it in the refrigerator. All right, we're going to start off with some 80-20 beef. That's 80 lean, 20 fat. I got two pounds. So with the two pounds of beef, we're going with three tablespoons of ginger. This is two large, two large garlic cloves so if they were medium size I'd say four medium size and this is green onion from Walmart and they were measly little small just very small so this is actually three bushels of the whites and the greens of green onion and then what you want to do is gently mix it all in make sure that you incorporate it pretty good but you just want to be gentle with it and whatever doesn't mix in is at the bottom of the bowl no big deal it didn't want to be there anyway so out of this two pounds I want to try to get at least five to six nice patties so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna portion it out some balls two three four five so out of two pounds, you can get five good sized birds. Remember, it's gonna shrink a little bit. I mean, you can see, you got green onion, you got ginger, you can see the garlic. They're gonna be good, man, I'm telling you. Beef, love, salt, and pepper. So we're gonna put a little salt and some pepper. All right, so now will be the special self. Two of those. 
One, two, three, four. Needs a little bit more. We're gonna go with one more spoon of that. Three more of these. Now that's spicy. Oh, he needs some we need milk. To go with some more of this. One, two. That's better. Now you can throw that in the refrigerator until you need it. Now all there's left to do is fire up the pit. We're running on the pit boss 1150 today. My charcoal got wet. Bruh. Only reason why I really like a pellet grill is because of the convenience. Other than that, I'd rather run charcoal or wood. Say what? So we're running at 300 degrees. We got our patties. Patties in here. And I apologize, it's a little windy. So I don't know if it's coming through on the mic or not, but. Throw them on. Shut it up. I'll bring y'all back when we pull them off. Probably gonna be a good medium rare, cause that's how I like mine. A little more towards the rare side. But uh, bring y'all back when I pull them off and uh, we go to plate it up. bit of this sauce we made. Just gonna dab it on. Let this get good and sticky. We'll put it on one more time before it's all said and done. Put a little bit of this sauce on here. I don't need much. If you want to put some mayo on there, put some mayo on there, it don't matter. And this burger is falling apart. Throw that on there like that. Slow on. So, I am gonna add a little bit of mayo on this. All right, so I got my son Dayton here. He gonna try, he ain't never had the Asian burger. Hey, just so you know, look right there. Yeah. Look at this right, dude. There you go. All right, <laughs> so let's go. We gonna take us a bite. Mm. Oh my God. I don't need a number, one through 10, or none of that bullshit. Hey, look, the regular burger, we eat all the time, right? Mm -hmm. This is something different. So, out of all the burgers you done ate, is it up there? What you think? It's cool, just be, be straight up on it with these folks. It's definitely up there, but you definitely made a burger better than this. Bro. Oh yeah, oh but yeah. This, this is really good, I like it. Really so, do you would you would you recommend somebody to yeah. try this recipe? Mm -hmm. You should definitely go and watch the video again and follow step by step. <laughs> Look at him. He, step he, by step. He he promoting my shit. Step by Look. step. But nah, like for real it. on everything. Mm. You know, sometimes you got to jump out of the out of your comfort zone. And I mean, we always making the same burgers all over, all, all the time, making the same ones over and over and over again. Man, try something different. For two pounds of, of hamburger meat and all the fixings and everything that went along with it, I think I paid $30. So, come on, try it. Y'all don't forget to subscribe, pound that notification bell, pound, the like button too. pound the like button.
Listen to him. It don't cost no money, just press it. Just, just press it. That's right. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. All right, y'all. Peace. All right. We good. Oh, this is so good.